<clears throat> There's a fellow named um, Robert Ripley. I know a Robert Ripley here. But there's a fellow named Robert Ripley who's put together a book called Ripley's Believe It or Not. You ever heard of anything like that? Yeah. And um, Ripley's Believe It or Not has things that you might think are true or you might not think are true. For instance, let me give you one of them. Joanne Barnes, a 15-year-old from California, once swung 68 hula hoops on her body at the same time. True. Well, I, I know it can, it can be done with a couple of them because Krista can do that. But 68 hula hoops. She, where do you put 68 hula hoops on your body? Oh, the head. I hadn't thought about that. Okay. Now listen to this one. James Cook, that's a pretty good name for this. James Cook once had a chicken that laid a perfectly square egg. No, not true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, well, I've seen, I, you know, a couple of Sundays ago, Pastor Tom had eggs up here, and, you know, I've seen white eggs, I've seen brown eggs, I, I've seen all sorts of eggs, spotted eggs, uh, but I've never seen a square egg. Hmm. Okay, here's another one. The world's largest hot dog. Okay, I had hot dogs last night on the grill. The world's largest hot dog was over 3,000 feet long. It weighed, it, well, it weighed 885 pounds, and it took 103 butchers to carry it. Which, that's a lot, that's a lot of baloney, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Here's one. Did you know that a person who weighs 150 pounds on Earth would only weigh 57 pounds on Mars? Where do I get my travel ticket? <laughs> now, you're getting ready to go to the beach, aren't you? Sometime this summer? And you'll probably see starfish. You know what starfish are? Yeah, they're things that look like stars. That's right. Where, where do you think starfish have their eyes? On their eyes. Not on, where are their eyes? What part of their body are their eyes on? They're not on their face. What kind of wet? What, does a starfish have a face? They don't have a butt. Well, you're close, you're, Grace. You're close. Starfish have their eyes on the tips of their arms. So if you're going around a starfish like this, the starfish is watching you. Okay? Here's one. I know the Michelers like to go to the Bahamas from time to time. In December 2008, a reef shark at a Bahamas resort jumped from its aquarium, landed on a nearby water slide, slid down to the swimming pool, and surprised the guests and staff. <laughs> Actually, that one is true. Here's one that I found interesting, and then i got to tell you something else. In February 2008, residents of Bethel, Maine, in the United States, built a 122-foot tall snow woman. That's a lot of snow, isn't it? You think that's... Oh, that was in Colorado. No, no, it was in Maine. Okay, that's <laughs> In the scripture, the, now, in the scripture I'm going to read in just a few minutes, Jesus has risen from the dead, but one of his followers, a fellow named Thomas, that's my name, when he was told by the other disciples that we've seen the Lord, he's risen from the dead, he didn't believe. He was kind of like you. He said, I don't believe that. <laughs> And a week later, yeah, a week later, they were all gathered together in an upper room, and Thomas was there this time. And Thomas had said, unless I feel the nail marks where they were, I won't believe. And Jesus comes among them, and Thomas believes. He sees. But Jesus says, blessed are those who don't see and yet believe. You see, on the things that I told you today, you had to believe that they were true without necessarily seeing them. How do we believe? We believe by faith. We believe in trusting that Jesus is who he says he is. And by all the witnesses who have seen him and have known his love. And by knowing his love ourselves. And so I hope you'll know his love and that you'll have faith in Jesus as your Savior.